How you doing guys? We're on a chicken exploration right now in Iceland on the lake in a magical forest. I had to sneak up on you there, I'm sorry. I've been hunting all day. The sun's actually up right now in July for 20 hours at a time roughly. Barely four hours of darkness. Best time to look for chickens because they are on the go. Now I'm gonna take you with me on this journey to the depths of Iceland. So what we got here is a perfect spot for them. Nice and cleared out, but some coverage as well. They usually breed in open grounds, uh, kind of big open spots. The hens get out there, fluff it up, try to show off. The males come out, do that thing there. Whoever's the best at it gets uh, gets the breeding rights, basically. So what we got here is actually, yep, yeah, this is chicken breeding ground right here. You can see these purple flowers. They're called purple chicken flowers. Uh, it's because the chickens come out here and eat it. And while they're out eating, they're doing the show. Perfect spot. This is beautiful right here. Prime example, wide open, but you got coverage from all around. And you gotta watch out. These chickens like to roost high. Uh, watching for, for predators. There's not much out here, but mostly prey. And these are Viking chickens, so I honestly could be prey. Uh, they're big, they're real big. Uh, they came here in the ninth century, actually. Around 900 something AD. Crazy. Brought over here by the Vikings. Uh, they're very cold hardy, uh, very good foragers because uh, the Vikings didn't have much food for them so they learned to pick around for bugs, purple chicken flowers, pretty much whatever you got. Now I don't like standing in this opening too long, making too much movement, especially with feet like this. I don't want to get flogged or mistaken for a hen. Uh, it's been a good vacation so far, I'm not trying to get bred by a chicken. Uh, Scary, they'll get you down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up here in the uh, trees a little bit. See if we can tuck away and see some action. Come on. This is perfect right up in here. Got all kinds of coverage. Really neat spot. And I'm not seeing any chickens anywhere so far. We'll loop around this backside though. Oh my, oh. Not a chicken. Not at all a chicken. All right, let's see. Yep, we're gonna have to take this backside. All right, find some hell. Some markings or anything. They'll scratch on the ground, like I said. You can see their little, where they've been scratching at. Uh, they also take their beaks and scratch it on the trees, kind of like deer do uh, when they're in rut. They scratch it up on there, they mark. So that way you can see the taller the marking, the bigger the bird, the more apt the hen is to stick around the area. <laughs> yeah, we're getting in another little opening here. Beautiful spot. Now, see all these hills? They're actually chicken graves. Uh, when chickens die out here, they're very respectful. They bury their own. That way it's not, you know, out in the open and nasty and everything. Yeah, we're gonna have to loop back down through this backside. Oh man, this is beautiful. I hear something. We're gonna have to take a descent down. Bye. Spot. See here. We're back in that opening. Good vantage point. Still no chickens though. We might just have better luck some other day. Uh, Cause I'm not seeing nothing right now. That's okay. Sometimes you uh you gotta look for a couple days. 
Luckily, I'm on a, a whole explanation for him. Well, you guys stay tuned. We'll be chicken adventuring later.